Now for the text of the title block, let's invoke AutoCAD to do the text command. So I'll just type T and let's hit enter. So it will ask you to uh, specify the first corner. It's just like creating the rectangle. So in essence, we're creating the bounding box for our text. And then once you have uh, delineated the boundaries of the text, you are now prompted to enter your text. But by the way, since my workspace has no ribbon, the text formatting toolbar appears. If you have the ribbon, you have the text editor tab. But for my case, since I don't have the ribbon, the text formatting toolbar appears in place of the text editing or text editor tab. So I'll just escape so that I'll bring out my uh, ribbon. So I'll perform clean screen by pressing Ctrl-0. But it doesn't seem to function. Therefore, what I will do is just type ribbon. Okay? R-I-B-B-O-N. Enter. Sometimes the clean screen doesn't work. I don't know why. So if the clean screen doesn't work and it doesn't bring out the ribbon, just type ribbon on your keyboards and then hit enter. And now let's invoke again AutoCAD to do the text command. So type T, enter, and let's uh, create the bounding box for the text. So from this corner to the opposite corner. And the text editor tab now appears. Okay, so this is a contextual tab for the ribbon. And let's type the appropriate item here. Let's type the real name of De La Cruz Juan Tamad. And then to save and exit from the text command, you could either click here on close text editor or you could simply press control then hit enter. Or the fastest is just click outside in the drawing area. So for me, I'll just click anywhere the drawing area to save and exit from the text command. Just so. And click on the text, just one left click. And then there are grip points that appears, okay? So what I want you to do is click first on this uh, grip point on the upper left corner of the text. Click that and then drag it towards the adjoining title block line and then snap it to the perpendicular and do the same to this arrow on the far right of the text so i'll click it and it turns red we call this actually the uh, grip points so when once it's uh, red it's uh, called a hat grip so i'll drag it towards the borderline and then snap to the perpendicular Next, I will double click on the text. So, so I'll double click to bring out again the text editor tab. What I will do is center the text. So I'll select all the text first or control A to select all the text. And then in this paragraph, I'll make sure that the, the text is centered. Okay, so I'll select center and it's centered now. And then to exit again, either click on the drawing area or close the text editor. And then let's just adjust it a bit so that it's centered on the uh, title block uh, panel on this area of title block. Okay, so let's type M to move the object. So M, enter, and let's select the uh, text and make sure that your auto mode is toggled on. So I'll press F8 if it's not yet uh, toggled on. So F8 to make sure that it's restricted on the vertical or horizontal direction because I want to move it vertically to position it at the center of this block. Once it's already centered, then click and already move to the center. After that, let's create the other text. So go back to AutoCAD and let's just copy this one. So I'll click again on the text and then copy the text. So CO for copy and then enter. So I'll be using this snap point as my reference for or base point for copying. And then towards this. But it's not centered but that's okay. Then escape. 
because we don't want to copy anymore what we will do is edit the text okay so let's double click on the newly copied text to bring out the text editor Control a to select all the text and let's close first this uh, object properties and on the text height on this upper left part of the text editor tab let's change the text height to 1.5 enter and then close the text editor to accept the changes and then let's position it now properly let's either drag this first and snap to the perpendicular and then invoke AutoCAD to do a move command so M enter and then position it the object snap appeared uh, sometimes the F3 should be toggled on or off sometimes so that it will not uh, obscure with your commands but anyway we are constrained with the auto mode we could just position it vertically to the middle so I'll turn off my F3 and make sure it's at the center okay so it's not a little bit off so move again enter and then move a little downwards and if it's already perfect I could copy this now multiple times okay so select it again and then type CO to copy enter and from this endpoint so turn on again the F3 so you may notice that I'm from time to time turn off my F3 or my F8 so I'll turn on my F3 again to bring out my snap points so from this endpoint to this endpoint to this endpoint and to this midpoint so I've copied it multiple times and then just press escape to exit the copy command so the last thing to do now is to edit the text so let's uh, remember it again so this is the class course number so course number so I just double click it so that the text editor tab will come out again and then when it's done I'll click outside to save and accept my edited text and do the same for the rest so double click control A to select all and then type the desired text so class schedule and then click outside and then do the same for the other this is the title so what's the title for this let's title it a3 title lock and then click outside again and then lastly uh, the plate number let's uh, name it as xpr-01 then click outside so there you have your title block using absolute uh, coordinate value entries and relative value entries as well as offset trim grip and text commands